Okay, I'm gonna start now. All right, I'm gonna go to just make sure my camera setting is set for this lighting condition indoor, fluorescent light. There's two lights here. It looks beautiful. One's ghost image. And on a lens. Not bad. Making sure my camera is Sometimes when I look back on an image steady. It's not as good as I, I remember it to be, but it's this like one it's not bad. It down. It more the light really crouching down. This looks this is not good. It's not very natural. It looks like I'm trying too hard. I think this is better. It's always good to move around just to see what other possibilities that you can photograph it in. But some but usually the first kind of glimpse at something, it's probably, it's the right, it's the right position to stand. So, yeah, I think that's it, I got it. So there's a stack of chairs in that room there that I really like the pattern of. Um, and I'm gonna go in there and photograph it. And I like the black and white, and I like the patterns that it's creating here. Let me see where I need to stand to get a, the best shot of this. And I really like that door and that hallway there. It's this part here that I'm really interested in, this pattern here, and this is black lines coming across. It's creating a really graphic kind of, could be a really graphic image, but the light's not good here, so I'm just gonna, I think I could move it. I'm just gonna move it over there. The light's a lot better here. Over there. Oh, maybe, well, hang on, maybe in here. Will this work? Whoa, okay, wait, the shelves? That looks, no, that's not gonna work. That looks terrible. This is me moving the chairs around, okay. Okay. looking okay. for the perfect spot to out. photograph the chairs in. So I'm looking for the, the ideal angle or, um, or the ideal background or sometimes I'm looking, at a, looking for a better light condition. Um, this is when you photograph something, the first time you come across it, might not be the ideal angle to photograph in. So you might want to either move the object around or you might want to move yourself around. That could be amazing. I'll switch this off. Thanks, Pat. Switch it off. Let me stand back here. It needs to be more. This thing here, this thing, this line here needs to be like on that corner here. Just make it really graphic. If I could see if I can line it. Straight, it's almost there. Okay. Yeah, that looks really good. Why is it good? Because symmetry, balance, and line are all come together. A little bit better. What I saw in my mind's eye, it's all appearing in front of me. I might try a few different angles. Maybe one just right here, because I can see a nice pattern from here. Get one wide so I can see the four corners in the room. And get one where I'm zooming in and I'm a lot closer. Get it centered. Hold myself steady, I'm trying to brace myself against my knee. So there's no camera shake, because the light here is quite low. Check the image. Oh, it's terrible. It's not, it's not centered. Another photo. Make sure the horizon is straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But I think the best photo is probably here. Fill the frame a bit. Whoa, OK. Cut down low, fill the frame. When I'm photographing things like this, I like to keep it, I mean, I could, I could like move the chairs around the whole, you know, try a different room, like all sorts of stuff, but I kind of dislike it in its own environment, if that makes sense, like within, like kind of, you know, I don't want to, how do I explain it? I don't want to um, turn it into a prop. Does it make sense? Yeah. I'm not trying to do it, turn it into a prop. I'm just trying to take photographs about the things that I find in its environment. And I'll try to keep it as natural as I can. 
and I don't want to manipulate the scene too much. So even though I moved the chair from that little space to here, even doing that, it's a little bit, I'm kind of like pushing my boundary a little bit, you know? I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be moving it here. What can I do? Can, is there a shadow that I can play with here? No, that's not working. All right, I got the shot, I think. I'm gonna, it's always important to take back, put back the equipment where you found it. I'm just constantly looking up for patterns, things that might go together well or might not go together. So I'm looking at patterns on the roof here. Get a photo of the, the room with all the shapes, all these kind of circular shapes in the room, on the ceiling here. Now where should I stand for this? Maybe I need to lie down on the ground, that's probably the best way. Get that really low. Oh yeah, this angle. Yep. Maybe on the corner here so I can get all of that. Oh yeah, down here. Okay. Let's go work. Sometimes you need to get it really low. Get the shot. Well, that looks pretty cool. Okay. Adjust my setting a little bit. Maybe it's too bright because the light's shining directly in my camera. Oh, that's nice. I'm just trying to find different angles to photograph this room in. Um, because when you walk into the room, there's nothing in the room, it's pretty much empty. So, um, you know, there's nothing to move. You know, the only thing you can do is you move, you know. So if you want a different perspective, you want to show someone um, a different view of this room, what you can do is, one of the things you can do is you can move your body around and, you know, and different angles is one of the ways, you know, probably the easiest and quickest way to get a, a photo of, of a room that everyone knows pretty well. But if you get down really low or get down really high, you can show that room in a different, um, different light, in a different way that people haven't seen before. You know, you can emphasize something that people haven't seen before. When I'm proposing the image, I, I would see something that I, I automatically want to photograph and I know why I want to photograph it. So when I'm composing the image, I'm just trying to distill down the idea and make it as clear as possible for the viewer to understand what I'm looking at. You're, you're in this room and you're trying to make the best photograph you can in this space, given what you have, you know, right? So I'm in this room, it's empty, there's nothing here. So for me, the most interesting thing in the room that I could see at the moment is the roof. I'm just trying to find something that's out of place, that's not right, that's a bit quirky, that's a bit different, you know, that makes the space kind of special to me, you know, and hopefully other people will find special. My photography is walking around with a small camera and just really looking and, and being in the space and appreciating, you know, what is given to me and then trying to make the best of what I have in front of me, you know, and not so much um, setting something up. And it's like you're an explorer. Yeah, it's like you're an explorer. I mean, this camera really allows you to explore so many things, you know, spaces, people's lives, you know, um, you know, so many things, you know, it gives you access. It's like a key, you know, it's a key to, you know, be inquisitive and be interested. And it's a key to allow other people into your world too. You know, you have control of what you allow people into your, but it's a key to show people what you're passionate about, what your interests are, you know, how you feel about certain things, you know. It's a key to communicate, you know. It's that bridge, the camera's the bridge that links you to the outside world. You know, you can show them as much or as little as you like, you know. It's beautiful in that way. Yeah. Let's work. 